Well, after the excitement of the KZ2 International Super Cup, the first of our three finals here at Le Mans this afternoon, we are getting ready to go with, as you can see, the CIK Karting Academy Trophy. This is the third of the three-round series. We started at Zuera, the windswept plains of Spain, before moving to Genk in Belgium and concluding here on the biggest stage of all, Le Mans, as a support category for this, the World Championships. Well, this is a brilliant initiative by the CIK, the Commission International of Karting and the FIA. All these drivers from all around the world are racing identical parallel carts. You can see them on the grid at the moment. Identical 125cc FIM engines and, of course, control Bridgestone tyres. Drivers competing in this category from countries that you wouldn't think karting even existed. Throughout the year, we've had drivers from the likes of Dominican Republic, from Mozambique, from Turkey, from all across Europe, from Asia. Well, one driver has dominated the... 2015 series that is Marta Garcia she will start out of grid number six but fastest qualifier for the first time on Friday afternoon was the Belgian Hugo de Ville. we caught up with Hugo straight after he took that pole Hugo de Wild, pole position in Le Mans your first pole position uh, what are your feeling here? Yeah, I have uh, one good feeling. It's my first international pole position in Le Mans. It's one. Is it a dream? You are the youngest in academy, uh, and uh, what do you feel among these more experienced divers? Yeah, I I learn every race, and I did a very good lap here. What are your expectations for tomorrow and for the finals? Yeah, I keep calm and. I hope one no crash and for me it's good now. The pole position is very good for, for me. Well, despite his calm demeanour, young Hugo was absolutely delighted to take pole position. You might have seen in the background of that interview, he put up a board saying at first pole position at Le Mans as we look at the FIA president, Monsieur jean -Tot, making a grid walk here at Le Mans to the centre of your screen. Of course, he himself tasted a lot of success here when he was in charge of a very famous French sports car team before controlling a famous red Italian Formula One team, Monsieur Jetot, to be held over 19 laps or just over 25 kilometres here this afternoon. The sun, I won't say it's shining, but certainly no chance of, no real chance of rain here this afternoon. We've had treacherous condition throughout the heats as the mechanics leave the grid as does Monsieur Todd. But it is a dry track. We are on the Bridgestone Slick tyre here this afternoon. We will go through the grid for you in just a few moments. A few of these drivers also competing in the European KF Junior Championships. Notably, our series leader, Marta Garcia. She starts out at grid number six in the number 550 cart. We'll speak about her. She has been absolutely superb throughout 2015 in the Euro Champs and the CIK FIA Academy Trophy category. The grid girls depart here at Le Mans. A big moment for these drivers to be racing on the biggest stage of all here at in France, we're about 200 kilometres west of Paris. As we look at the Ukrainian Ilya Zamula, visor open, ready to go in the 520 car. The grid girls leave the circuit. Tremendous sight here this afternoon. 34 drivers. We started with 44. Unfortunately, 10 didn't make it through the last chance repercharge race. The one-minute board goes up. Xavi Oliveres, the Spaniard, second in the last round of the series at Genk in Belgium, where they also supported the KZ European Championship. 
Xavier will start out of pole position to the right of your screen. These carts feature a push button starting system with a clutch which will release the engines fire into life. The green flag flies and we are getting ready to go racing over 19 laps here at Le Mans. We take a look at the grid for you. It is Javier Loveras out of pole with the Frenchman Enzo Corsimo alongside then Alfie Brown, Artem Slutsky. Murillo de la Coleta, Marta Garcia, Callum Bradshaw, Nielsen is Alfred Nielsen is out of grid eight with Mihalis Budovskis and Alejandro Lopez out of tenth. We look down through the field. Shion Shujimoto from Japan out of fourteenth. Stuart White out of fifteenth. Look at grid number twenty-two. Jagger Jones from Arizona in the United States of America, grandson of the great Parnelli Jones, who was of course the winner of the nineteen sixty-three. Indianapolis 500. You can see the drivers representing countries such as Israel and Bahrain, Brazil. We mentioned we've had drivers from Mozambique throughout the series, from Dominican Republic, but it is a Spaniard to start on the front row of the grid. In fact, from pole position with Enzo Cosimo alongside. They round the final corner. The nerves are building for these young drivers. Four red lights when they go out we will be racing which is right now Marta Garcia darts to the right of your screen she tries to make a move up the inside it looks as though young Marta is going to go from sixth to fourth but a great start by your pole sitter Javier Loveres they all go through turn number two and three relatively cleanly in fourth spot is Enzo Corsimel who has missed the start badly the Frenchman with the bright orange helmet, a couple of carts leaving the circuit at the back of the field. But Javier Loveras, he was second on the podium at the last round of the series. And he was very disappointed with that. He didn't even want to speak on the podium. But he's determined to make up for it here at Le Mans this afternoon. He leads down the back straight for the first time. In second place, it is the Russian Artem Slutsky, one of the two Slutsky twin brothers from Russia. Artem and Zaha Slutsky. Artem in second spot. Another driver who's combined the Academy Trophy with the European Championships, Morillo de la Coleta, in second spot. But a big incident there. You saw the driver of the 511 cart, that is the Brit, Callum Bradshaw, get a big knock in the back. And he says... It was Enzo Corsimo, in fact, who says, let's get on with it. And the 507 cart, Marta Garcia sits in sixth ahead of Slutsky. Aruga Tomita Budovskis is ninth. Alfred Nielsen. The Swedes lost a couple of places off the start. Our fastest qualifier, Hugo de Vilde, who we heard from before the start of this race, is in position number 14. Ilya Zumula, 17th behind Teo Nue, another French driver. Teo took fastest well, qualified on pole at the first round of the series in Spain. As we take a look at the replay from the start, look at Marta Garcia dart to the middle of the track. She goes through on the left-hand side. Marta, she started out of six. She was briefly in fourth, but she comes across the line to complete number two. Still in sixth, right behind Callum Bradshaw. Aruga Tomita from Japan has come from grid number 11 to be in seventh. There goes Aruga, leading that huge trail of carts through the midfield. Murillo de la Coleta, a couple of twins racing here this weekend, Murillo and Marcello de la Coleta from Sao Paulo in Brazil, and of course the Slutsky boys from Russia. Murillo de la Coleta in second spot from Alfie Brown. Two Brits in the top five with Alfie in third, Callum Bradshaw, probably the smallest driver in the field. It's now been passed by Marta Garcia. You can just so see Callum Bradshaw going through. Behind Garcia, who is the series leader. She only needs to finish in this position and she will claim the Academy Trophy for 2015. Of course, the title was won last year by the Dutchman, Richard Vershaw. 
who this year has been racing in the European KF Championships. We've had a big crash on the start-finish straight. A couple of drivers who've come at, together at the back of the field, but they have rejoined. They've spun out of harm's way. It looks as a little bit of bodywork. We'll try and pick up who that was for you. Next time round, they have rejoined at the back of the field. Looks as though it might have been the Japanese driver, Shion Shujimoto. Indeed it was. The young girl from Japan involved in that incident with a very bent front cart. We rejoin your leader, Javier Loveres. We've lost one nose cone, though, up the back straight. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. In fact, it's a side pod. Well, we rarely see that happen in international karting, but you saw it fly off at near on 100 kilometres an hour. So they come across the start-finish line. We can tell you... That Alfie Brown, the Brit, who was and still is in third place, has lost some body work and will have to come into the pits to get it repaired, which will effectively put him out of the race. Well, this is a tragedy for the Englishman. You saw it fly off at the back part of the circuit at just on 100 kilometres an hour. Not sure if there was contact involved there. You can see Alfie Brown still sits in position number three, but he's missing half his cart. It's effectively out of this race. Oruga Tomita sits behind Brown's countryman Callum Bradshaw in position number six. You can see one cart going through minus the right-hand side pod. There it is, sitting on the right, or yes, the right of the racetrack, the left of your screen, that is. So there's a change on for sixth and seventh spot. Of course, the drivers behind will see that Brown has lost that bodywork and it'll be like blood in the water for them. In fact, they're starting to go through now. Corsimao. There's Garcia in the 5-5-0 cart. Aruga Tomita in 5-0-4 from Japan. Alfie Brown has lost one place, but will surely move, lose a lot more. In fact, sadly, I can see the mechanical defect flag coming out for cart number 5-1-0, which is the Englishman Alfie Brown. That is effectively the end of Alfie's race. Callum Bradshaw sits in sixth spot ahead of Aruga Tomita. Artem Slutsky. Well, Slutsky started on the second row of the grid, but has faded back to eighth. He's just ahead of Stuart White, the young South African, who has come from grid number 15 to be inside the top 10. Stuart is, in fact, in position number nine, all the way from Johannesburg in South Africa, son of off-road racer David White. Hi to all of our friends watching on in the south of the African continent. Stuart coming across the start-finish line now. As we go back to the leaders, it is still the Spaniard, Javier Loveres. This is one-third race distance from the Brazilian, Murilo de la Coleta. Enzo Corsimao, after that terrible start, has recovered and is in position number three. That orange helmet there. Just ahead of Brown, who will have to get the black flag if Alfie doesn't come into the pits this time round. Starting to drive a little bit defensive back in the field. As we mentioned, blood in the water. Alfie Brown minus some body work. As Stuart White, it looked as though fighting there with Artem Slutsky. So we watch Della Coletta, 5-1-4 go through. Mechanical defect flag once more for Alfie Brown. He will have to acknowledge that. Still comes across the line. This is the fight for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth spot. Alfie Brown has now pulled out, which elevates every other driver up a position. The Frenchman Enzo Corsimo is now provisionally on the bottom step of the podium behind the Brazilian Morillo de la Coletta. De La Coletta, though, is 1.2 seconds behind your race leader. A very determined Javier Loveres has been racing at the European Championships in KF Junior with the Straka Zanardi Kart team. Was on the podium at the last round at Genk in Belgium. Further back in the field, though, we've had an incident with the Belgian driver, Michelangelo Amendola, who is out. Amandola stepping out of the 527 cart and is a retirement. This is your race leader, though. Xavi Oliveres across the line from Della Coletta. Corsimao. 
can see fastest lap of the race there, no surprise. It is the Japanese Aruga Tomita now up into position number five. Aruga in 5.04. Just behind Callum Bradshaw. Enzo Corsimo. Up over the ripple strip, these drivers go through the chicane. The sun now makes yet another intermittent appearance here at Le Mans in France. The final round of the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. There is our race leader, Javier Loveres. Very, very determined here this weekend. As he's in so Corsimo in the 507 cart. Has a big look at the back of Murillo Della Coletta. Callum Bradshaw, the other Englishman, now up into position number four. Up the inside goes Bradshaw. Bradshaw, the shortest driver in the field. Maximum aerodynamic advantage for Callum. Fighting there with Enzo Corsimao. Another fastest lap of the race for the Japanese driver, Aruga Tomita. Bradshaw, though, the Brit, is now on the bottom step of the podium, having displaced Enzo Corsimao. The French driver who started on the front row of the grid. Of course, all these drivers in identical parallel carts. Loveres. 5.08 from Spain, as we mentioned, racing the Euro champs. His countryman, or countrywoman, I should say, Marta Garcia, won the first and second round of the series. She's been brilliant throughout the year. Marta sits in seventh spot. There she is going through at the top of your screen, the number 550 cart. It's Callum Bradshaw down the inside now of Della Coletta. As you can see, the virtual championship. Well, it was a little bit closer than I thought. Marta Garcia in seventh position. If she stays there and if her countryman, Javier Loveres, wins this race as he's on track to do, Marta will still claim the title by just one position. Marta, number 550. Is that right behind the Russian Artem Slutsky and Stuart White, though the South African has made up another place to be in position number eight. Down the back straight, Javier Loveres. Well, can he take out the title? Marta Garcia, a little bit conservative this weekend. We speak about drivers who have the potential to make it all the way in motorsport. This is the first step. This is the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. Of course, coming up, we will have the big one, the KZ World Championship later this afternoon. Marta Garcia, we speak about, is there ever going to be a woman driver in Formula One? Marta Garcia, male or female, she's just a brilliant young driver. She's on track to take the title here this afternoon, albeit by just one point from her countryman, Xavier Loveres. Marta Garcia from Valencia in Spain, the city that hosted the Mediterranean F1 Grand Prix for a few years back there. Very no-fuss young driver. She doesn't say a lot. She does all of her talking behind the wheel, as we mentioned. Male, female, woman driver, doesn't matter. She's just quick. She's damn quick, in fact. She leads the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. But her countryman, Javier Loveres, is leading this, the final round of this three-round series. That is Callum Bradshaw, the young Brit in position number two. Sits very, very low behind the steering wheel, puts his head down behind the steering wheel and goes down another couple of inches. Maximum aerodynamic effect. Javier Laveres works the wheel. This is the start of the 13th lap. They have completed 12. For this, the final round of the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. This brilliant initiative started by the FIA in 2010. So we mentioned last year's winner, Richard Vashore. The Dutch driver we will see in action in two weeks' time for the KF, the non-gearbox category of the World Championship. That will take place at La Conca in Puglia in the south of Italy. And you can see all that action also live right here on Motors TV. But Javier Loveres leads this race by just under one second from Callum Bradshaw. Bradshaw is towing the Brazilian Murilo de la Coleta along for the right. Arruga Tomita now up into position number four from grid number 11. Well, can we have a Japanese driver on the podium? Indeed, it looks as though we may well do because Aruga Tomita has got past the Brazilian. Aruga Tomita now in position number three. Stuart White makes up another place and on the way sits the fastest lap of the race. 
Stewart, the very likeable young South African. A lot of drivers, a lot of fans watching on in South Africa. A very strong karting nation. Very strongly represented over the years. Not only their own national scene, but also here in Europe and the World Championships. A number of great drivers over the years. And I'll tell you what, they've got a young star and young Stuart White. It's come from grid number way back to be in position number seven. From 15th, 16th I should say, Stuart. Now behind Garcia. In fact, if Stuart can make up one more position and Javi Oliveres can hold on for the win, well, Javi Oliveres will then take out the title. We said that... Uh, Marta Garcia didn't need to win this race, but she does need to finish up the field. But just as we say that, Marta has got past Artem Slutsky. Marta is in fifth with Murillo Della Coletta next in line. There's Aruga Tomita in number 504 behind Bradshaw. So that's the bottom steps of the podium. Tomita and Bradshaw. Marta Garcia goes through in position number five behind Murillo Della Coletta from Sao Paulo in Brazil. There's the virtual championship. Marta Garcia will still win it from her countrymen in this position. In fact, it will be Spain one, two, and three because Loveres will provisionally finish second and Aliandro Lajos Lopez, who we haven't spoken much about in this race, but Aliandro Lajos Lopez is gonna finish third in the series. Aliandro Lajos Lopez will make it an all-Spain 1-2-3 if the positions don't change. Even though Alejandro is a retirement from this race, so we will update the positions for you. Loveres from Bradshaw, Tomita. The bottom step of the podium, they're starting to catch your leader. He had a lead of 1.2 seconds, but you can see they are closing in on the Spaniard now. It is the Brit Callum Bradshaw taking the Japanese driver Aruga Tomita along for the ride. Up the back straight, the gap is now down to 0.6 of a second with three and a half laps remaining here at Le Mans in France. There's Callum Bradshaw. There's the 504 of the Japanese driver Aruga Tomita. Morillo Della Coletta from Marta, Gar Mar Marta Garcia, the provisional series leader. There she is. A little bit of a gap. She's coming under attack now from Stuart White. The South African is now up into position number six. Make that position number five because I think just out of shot, Stewart has gone through. In fact, yes, Stuart White from South Africa has gone through on Martha Garcia. A brilliant drive from Stuart. Can he get on the podium? Moreover, can he affect the results of the CIK FIA Academy, the championship, the series for 2015? There is only one point in it between the two Spaniards, your race leader and Javier Loveres. Javier Loveres, I'm sorry, your race leader, and Marta Garcia. There she is. 5.50 now behind Stuart White. Artem Slutsky, the Russian. Remember, Slutsky started on the second row of the grid. Slutsky in position number seven, ahead of Enzo Corsimo, the first French driver, who's faded a little bit to me in seven. So let's check the result for... Oh! We'll stop there because we've had a big incident on the exit of turn number one. A sensational incident. Is that Callum Bradshaw? No, no, no. The Englishman. Can you believe it? Yes, Callum Bradshaw is out. He's going to come across the line way, way down the field. We'll take a look at the replay. It is number 504 to the left of your screen. Touching with Callum Bradshaw. Murilo de la Coleta from Brazil says, thank you very much up from fourth into second at this moment. Look at Callum Bradshaw, left hand in the air to say, no, 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 I was on the podium, but now I'm parked in the grass. What's that done? That has put Marta Garcia up into position number four. She is surely on track to take the series here, but the results are gonna be very, very different. As they come across the line, it is now Stuart White from South Africa. He is on the podium. Stuart White has come from grid number 15 to be in third. Hit of your series leader, Marta Garcia, will take out the 2015 title if she holds on for another half lap. Javier Oliveres with a 0.9 of a second lead. Not over Bradshaw, but now over the Brazilian Morilo de la Coleta. Stuart White, what a drive by the boy from South Africa. He's in position number three. 
As we go back to our race leader, he was devastated not to win in Genk. He drove the wheels off that go-kart. As we go back to position number three, there's White and Garcia. Oh, White has to block the inside. There's Javi Oliveres, just a few corners to go. He will win here this afternoon, the biggest win of his career so far. He's delighted this is the final corner. The checkered flag will come out for Javi Oliveres. Second spot, Murilo Dolacoleta, the fight is on for third. It is Garcia. Marta Garcia has finished on third in the podium, third step of the podium, and she has won the 2015 CIK FIA Academy Trophy. Stuart White, a brilliant drive for half a lap. Stuart was on the podium here at Le Mans, but it has come home in position number four, ahead of Artem Slutsky, fastest qualifier, while all that was going on. Hugo de Vilde coming from uh, grid number 12 to finish in sixth. But Provisionally, we have a Spaniard who has won. Javier Overes, the biggest win of his career. He won it by 0.9 of a second. Not from Callum Bradshaw, who was in second spot. Not from the Japanese driver, Arruga Tomita, but by the Brazil, from the Brazilian, Murilo de la Coleta. Marta Garcia, third place. That's enough for her to win the 2015 CIK FIA Academy Trophy. She won in her home country of Spain, the opening round of the series. She won at Genk in Belgium. She's finished third here today in a drag race with the South African Stuart White. The gap in the end between Martha Garcia and Stuart White was 0.05 of a second. Slutsky, the Russian, rounding out the top five. There is the provisional results. Spain, one and three. Loveres was first ahead of Murilo de la Coleta from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Marta Garcia, third. That's enough for her to take the title. Not on the podium, but a brilliant result by Stuart White coming from way back on the grid. Artem Slutsky, De Vilde, Enzo Corsimo, the first French driver, Uruga, Tomita and Callum Bradshaw. They did recover from eighth and ninth, but they were on the podium up until the final few laps. Mihales Budovskis rounds out the top ten. Well, a sensational finish to that, the final round of the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. The big crowd may not have seen a French victory, but they did appreciate the action, and they are building here because after the Academy Trophy presentations, we will have the big one, the 2015 KZ World Kart Racing Championships, and you will see it all live in just a few moments' time right here on Motors TV. Just repeating, Loveres has won it from Murillo de la Coleta. Marta Garcia, third place is enough for her to take the title for 2015. She is a star. Remember that name, Marta Garcia from Valencia in Spain. She's the 2015 provisional CIK FIA Academy champion. You can see she's won it by one point by our race winner here today, Javier Loveres. Alejandro Lajos Lopez. Wow. Not only do the Spaniards know how to play football, but they also know how to race as well. Garcia, Loveres, and Lojas. As we take a look at the highlights of the third round of the Academy Trophy, we'll be back with you for the podium presentation in just a few moments.
1905 de We are just about to get underway with the podium presentation for the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. The drivers have arrived in just a few moments. We've got some very special guests to present the trophies here this afternoon. As they make their way ready, we'll just wait for the official dignitaries before we get underway. We've got two Spaniards on the podium and a Brazilian. Okay, we're just about to get underway with the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. So we wait for... We're right to go. We've had that, the Academy Trophy presentation. So the drivers just take a breath after their fantastic race here this afternoon. Of course, we kicked off the series at Zwera in Spain before going to Genk in Belgium and concluding here this afternoon at Le Mans in France. So we mentioned some very special guests to present the trophies. None other than F1 team driver Dan Ricciardo, now a team owner here in the world karting scene. Of course, we've also got President Jean Toc, President of the FIA, to present some trophies here this afternoon. The drivers are just about ready. We are just about ready to go for the podium presentation here at Le Mans in France. Well, the drivers are ready. We've got the podium presentation to get underway. A brilliant race we've seen, a brilliant series we've seen in 2015. In third place, the 2015 provisional CIK FIA Academy Trophy champion from Valencia in Spain, it is Marta Garcia! In second place, from Sao Paulo in Brazil, Murilo de la Coleta! He was very disappointed to come second at the last round of the series at Genk in Belgium. He knows it, but he's got a big smile on his face. He's won it. He's done it in style from Spain. The winner here of the final round from Spain, it is Javier Lovedez! We stand by for the national anthem of Spain.
the final round of the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. This is your podium here at Le Mans in France. To present the third place trophy, I'd like to ask Daniel Ricciardo to present the trophy to Marta Garcia. Second place, the trophy to be pre presented by Veronique Rivron, the Vice President of Conseil Departemental, to Morillo della Coletta. And I'd like to ask Monsieur Nicolas Deschaux, the President of la Fédération Française de Sport Auto, to present the winning trophy to our winner from Spain, Javier Lovetes! And the girls to present the flowers to the trophy, to the drivers. And the winner, Javier Loveres, to be presented with a very special gift, BRM Chronologic. Well, third place here today, that's enough to secure you the series. Marta Garcia, a brilliant 2015. You won in your home country of Spain. You won in Genk in Belgium, third here today. But it wasn't so easy here at Le Mans in France. Yeah, this weekend uh, has been a little bit more difficult than the other ones. Uh, I wasn't that fast. And, well, finally I could do third, and that's okay because I'm first in the champs. And I want to thank uh, Michelle Monton and all the FIA Women in Motorsport for supporting me all this year. Congratulations, Marta, on a brilliant 2015. Morillo Della Coleta from Sao Paulo. Gee, it's a long way from Brazil. This must make it all worthwhile. You're on the podium here at Le Mans. Yeah, I'm really happy with this result. Uh, I wanted to have a really con thanks for my team and Giovanni from Brazil that helped me and also my brother. Congratulations. As we step in for a word with our winner, we know how disappointed you were in Gank, but this must be all fantastic. Javier Lovetas, you have won on the biggest scene of all here at Le Mans in France. How do you feel? Well, I'm very excited because winning here in Le Mans is also very, I don't know, it's very, very important, but as Arthur Senna said, mm, the second is the first of the losers. Javier, it's fantastic to see a smile on your face. Congratulations on a brilliant victory here this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the final round of the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. Third place in the provisional champion, Marta Garcia. Second, Murillo de la Coleta. And the winner here at Le Mans, Javier Loveres. Stay with us on Modus TV Live because we've got the big one coming up. The biggest race of the year. The KZ World Championship is just a few moments away. We'll be back in just a few moments. Thank you, Jan. Effectivement, merci, Bruno. Je vais m'autoriser un tout petit instant en match puisque voilà, Daniel Ricardo est juste à mes côtés. On va lui passer un petit instant micro. Daniel, tu parles un petit peu français